Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.16.2. Optifine just came out today for Minecraft 1.16.2 and in this video we're going to be covering every single step of getting it downloaded, installed, and set up. Now I know this says 1.16.1 here, but that's because the 1.16.2 video can't go here until it's released and you're watching it right now. Uh, also, do subscribe to the channel because we have more incredible tutorials coming up on shaders using Optifine to improve Minecraft performance and so, so much more. So you want to subscribe for all this amazing Optifine content. And then on top of that, we have incredible server content and other Minecraft mods. Tons and tons of stuff that comes out on this channel that you will love when it comes to learning how to do things in Minecraft. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS in Minecraft server started for you and your friends. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. And truthfully, Apex is the only way to go. They have incredible security on their servers. They have DNOS protection on their servers. They have amazing hardware. You'll never have to worry about lag if you're hosting with Apex Minecraft Hosting. And on top of that, Apex Minecraft Hosting has amazing 24-hour support. Again, we love them so much that we use them ourselves. You can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting Optifine installed. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Optifine tutorial on our website that goes through everything we're going through in this video. Some people say I talk really fast, and because of that, it's hard to follow along, and because of that, we create these convenient text tutorials that walk you through everything that we cover here in the video. That way, uh, you can kind of go at your own pace if we go too fast. However, once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on this green download Optifine button. So once you're on this page, click on that green download Optifine button, and that will take you off to Optifine's download page. Now, if you see Minecraft 1.16.2 here, right, like you have 1.16.1, but if you see Minecraft 1.16.2 here, come under this, this first version at the very, very top, like there's multiple ones like this, go to the one at the very, very top, come over and click on the mirror button. But if it's just now coming out, if you're watching this right after Optifine came out for 1.16.2, you want to click on preview versions. So again, if Optifine 1.16.2 just came out, click on preview versions, and then you'll find Optifine 1.16.2 here. However, if it's in the future and Optifine is released out of preview, right, it's out of beta, and it is now in release, then you want to come here under 1.16.2 and go under the first one and click on mirror. But we are in beta, so we want to click on preview versions. Optifine 1.16.2 can be found here, so you want to scroll over and click on that blue mirror button. That will then take us off to a page where it should say download preview Optifine 1.16.2 or download Optifine 1.16.2. But as long as it says 1.16.2 there, you can be confident you've got the right version. Go ahead and click on that blue download link. It might be in between the ads, by the way. Sometimes it is, but in our case, it's, it's, it's here, kind of up at the top. But anyway, click on that blue download link, and in the bottom left, Optifine will immediately start downloading. Now, one thing I will say is you will need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to save or keep the file, depending on your browser. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. And on Google Chrome, you need to keep it in the bottom left. As long as it has Optifine in the title, it's 100% safe. So we can go ahead and keep that file. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. In our desktop, we have Optifine. Now to get Optifine installed, you want to right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java. Might not be Java Team Pop Messy Binary, but it should be something Java. And then click OK. But what if you don't have this option? What if you don't have Java here? What if it doesn't look like this? What if it's a book file, a zip file, or just a piece of paper, right? What do you do in that case? Well, in that case, you need to download this. This is our Java for Minecraft mods. It's the official version of Java that's going to work best for Minecraft mods. You go through this step by step in this tutorial quick easy, three simple steps. It's also covered in this video here, and it will show you how to get Java for Minecraft mods, and Optifine being a Minecraft mod, you obviously need this version of Java. Now, if you go back and you're still having issues, by the way, if you install Java, you're still having issues, still having trouble, then you want to run this, and this is also linked in the description down below, and this is the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the dot .jars from your computer, like, for example, Optifine's a dot .jar file, it's a Java file. It's going to take all those Java files and link them up to Java once again, basically making them work together all happily. At this point, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and in our desktop, we do have Optifine there. You can go ahead and right click on Optifine at this point, finally click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Then the Optifine installer will open, where all you want to do in here is just click on the blue install button. The only reason that Optifine won't install here, right, won't work, won't come up and say Optifine successfully installed like this, is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.16.2 vanilla. What that means is just going in and playing Minecraft with no mods, no anything, nothing set up in it other than Minecraft itself. That's the only reason that Optifine is not going to work for you. So if you do have an error here, you need to go play Minecraft with no mods or anything installed. Come back, click on that install button, and it will say Optifine 
is successfully installed right like this. Then you can go ahead and click OK. I do see questions. Can I delete this from my desktop? Yes, you can now delete this from your desktop. By the way, if this isn't on your desktop here, it's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, click that little windows icon in the top of the bottom left of your screen like so, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, and then this will be on your desktop, or this will be in your downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop, and then you can continue on with the tutorial. I'm guessing people might miss that, by the way. So if you're watching this, people are like, I can't find the fo file in the description. Tell them to like go to this part of the video because yeah, anyway, I missed that earlier. Sorry about it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and now open Minecraft with Optifine installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and just open up the normal Minecraft launcher. Now, most of you will have a Optifine profile. To find that, go ahead and click on the drop down box here. See this little arrow to the left of the play button? Click on that. And then you'll have this Optifine profile and then you can click on it and click play. But for those of you that don't have the Optifine profile or if your Optifine profile doesn't say 1.16.2 dash Optifine under it, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to click on the installations tab up here at the top and then you want to click on the plus new button. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdown craft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.2 Greed Protected Survival with Medieval Survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and Aquatic Survival having an amazing slash shop based economy. We've also got custom factions with tons of small faction gameplay. Things like King of the Hill, awesome little mini games, custom enchantments, and just a ton of fun on factions. And then we do have a Skyblock as well which has NCMMO, OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP, and so much more. So come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. You will absolutely love it, whether you're looking for survival, skyblock, or factions. But nevertheless, once you've got your name entered there, we can click on this version drop-down box here, and then when you do that, you should have released 1.16.2-optifine. Mine's up here right at the top, but you may have to scroll down some to find it. I have seen it be at the very, very bottom of Minecraft before, but as you can see, mine's right up here at the top, 1.16.2-optifine. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution just so we can see better when we're making a video. We want you all to be able to see once we get in-game, and then click the green create button in the bottom right. Now down here at the bottom, you have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. If you hover over that, you'll see a green play button over here. Click on that green play button and you guessed it, it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Optifine installed. It really is that simple, that quick, and that easy to get Optifine set up in 1.6.2. It's that simple and that easy. Now you can install shaders, you can do all that, and guess what? We have amazing videos on that coming up. They will be linked throughout this video because I will come back and update that. However, subscribing to the channel is the best way to get updates on new videos. Clicking that bell icon, all of that stuff to be notified. But nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now, there's really no way of knowing, right? Let me go ahead and up our GUI scale. There's really no way of knowing Optifine is installed other than the fact it says modded down here in the bottom left unless you go to Options, Video Settings. Then in here, you'll be able to see all the Optifine stuff. Shaders, obviously added by Optifine. Details, all that added by Optifine. Performance, this is added by Optifine. Animations, added by Optifine. All of this different stuff down here is added by Optifine. Now some of this up here isn't, right? But all this down here is. You can also do extreme render distance or 48 chunks, which I think is, you know, unique to Optifine. I don't know, maybe not, but nevertheless, you have that. You also have things like the quality settings, which you can come in here and really make things look better. For example, being able to turn on but fancy grass and, you know, connected textures and things like that really, really can help the look of Minecraft. And Biome Blend, by the way, that's something that I really like. It's going to be 15 by 15 if you want the maximum out of it. It's going to cause lag if you're not careful, but 15 by 15 Biome Blend is amazing. I love that. But nevertheless, there you go. That is how you can install Optifine. Again, we do have tutorials coming up on shaders. We do have tutorials coming up on optimizing Optifine and using it to make sure Minecraft doesn't lack. We have all that coming up, but that's not what this video is. This video shows you how to get Optifine, how to set it up, and how to get it in game. And guess what? We have now done that. Let's go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com here. And uh, once you're on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, you can actually see some of the effects of Optifine kicking in as we do have shaders on here. And look at that. Look how beautiful this is with shaders already. Now again, we do have a separate video on that, but this is just kind of a preview of what you can do with Optifine. And let me just look amazing right here in Minetown on our medieval server. As I said, there are 30 custom quests on medieval survival. We do need to turn off clouds though, don't we? Those are rather, those, those, those aren't, those aren't nice. Let's go ahead and turn those off anyway. But nevertheless, um, well, as I said, we do have 30 custom quests and right here, Minetown is part of that. It's one of the places where you can go to play all of our custom quests that you absolutely love. So anyway, come play with us on Breakdown Craft. There's an NPC now with a quest. As you can see, note, music note over their head means they got a quest. But nevertheless, enjoy this. Uh, enjoy Optifine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I got some banning to do, and I'm out. Peace.